Hello, this is Chevy Cobb from 3D Classworks and in this series of video tutorials, we will be walking through on how to use the SOLIDWORKS Wellman tools okay, to create a structure like this uh, for the National Earthquake Competition. Okay, before we can start using the Wellman tool in SOLIDWORKS, okay, we need to first turn it on. So if you notice on the command manager, I have this tab called Wellman's. So some of you may not have this. So to access the Wellman tab, all you need to do is right click on the tab itself and make sure you check this option called Wellman's. Okay, now um, let's first start off by creating our custom profile. Now if you take a look at uh, this structure over here, okay, it is created uh, by timber strips. It's made of timber strips. A measuring 6 mm by 4 mm so let's see how to how do we create this custom profile so that we can use this profile um, in the Wellman's tools okay so just close this file okay now to create the new profile okay we need to first start off by creating a new part document so let's go and create a sketch on the front plane okay and I'm going to sketch a center rectangle okay the second option that you see here and in a center rectangle okay, like its name suggests okay, the rectangle is centered about the origin okay and after that okay, let us add a dimension so I'm going to dimension the width of this rectangle 6 mm and the height of this rectangle by 4 mm okay let's zoom in a little Okay, now that we have created the sketch, okay, the next thing we need to do will be to add in sketch points. Okay, so that uh, while we are using the Wellman tools, we can use these sketch points to reposition um, the orientation of our Wellman beams. Okay, so I'm just going to add these sketch points along the midpoint, on the midpoint of the lines that we have just sketched. Okay, so once we are okay, okay just exit the sketch, okay, you hit okay. Now, now that we have created our custom profile, okay, let's save this into our library. Okay, so we go to File, Save As. Okay, and under the Save As type, make sure you select Library Feature Part or star.sldlfp. Okay, and we will need to browse to a particular folder where all the Wellman's profiles will be stored. Okay, so this one can be found under C Drive, Program Files. SOLIDWORKS Corp or whichever folder you have installed SOLIDWORKS in. So I'm going to go to the SOLIDWORKS folder under data under Wellman profiles. Now all the different profiles that you have created okay, will be listed in this folder and also uh, the default uh, profiles they are pre-installed with SOLIDWORKS can be found here. So they are classified into two different categories ISO or NC inch and as I go into ISO, okay, you'll be able to see different profiles available for you. Now, for this uh, tutorial, okay, I'm going to create a folder called MDF. Okay, so this one will be the type of profile that, that I, I've created. Okay, just double click on it. And right here, I'm going to type in uh, my custom file name. So I will call it profile 6 by 4 so if you're okay with this, just click on save. Okay, and they will ask you whether you want to simplify the library feature. Click on no. Okay, we are not done yet. Okay, we have just created a profile. Okay, we still need to insert this sketch into the library. So to do that, we need to right click on the sketch. Make sure you select this option, add to library. Click on it and save the file. Now we are ready to use the Wellman tools.